Hi everyone, welcome to another chess position, practical chess position. This is from Gapran Dashivili's book, um, Imagination in Chess. And this puzzle has three stars next to the number, which means it's, it's generally hard, I guess. It's white to move here. Uh, I noticed a few things right away. Well, the knight on c6 is undefended. So as always, pause your video, try to solve it on your own, and then we'll work it out together. But yeah, that knight on, that knight on c6, undefended piece. So, can we do anything with it? I don't know. I don't see anything too amazing. The rook on a7 is a little suspect too, but hard to get to that guy. So, what is the idea of this puzzle? I mean, usually these positions are like white like to move and win. And, and this is white to move, as far as I can tell. But it's hard for me to figure out how we're going to like find the winning line here. Let's think. Like A4 is a good positional move, maybe, but that, that can't be the answer. So, what are they looking for? I mean, H4 is playable, but he can go bishop takes knight. And, you know, it's pretty good for us. I think. Hmm. I, you know, this is the first tough puzzle I've done in this book where there's like a bunch of stars next to the number, which means it's supposed to be hard. So I don't quite know just how difficult they're going to be. I mean, h4 is certainly like a natural looking move because when we play this move, all right, if he takes and we take, we're attacking his knight. If he moves it, we take this. It looks like some kind of fun attack. Whereas if we take right away... I mean, even this still looks good to me. I, I mean, I maybe can go f5 now. Get some kind of counterplay, or maybe b4. But like h4, if he takes it, somehow this looks ris really risky after queen h3, followed by queen takes pawn. If bishop back, like c g5, I mean, and takes, looks pretty good. I mean, h4 looks like a good move to me. Like, if pawn takes pawn, knight takes just looks good. <laughs> um, I'm not sure whether these positions are all like tactical in nature or what, but like, like I do like this position quite a bit for white. We're, th we're threatening the knight, and next move we can go g5 even, and take on h5 with the queen. So, you know, I, I really don't know what they're looking for in this book. I'm going to say my move is h4. I'm going to turn on Houdini, see what it says, just for fun, now that I've chosen h4, and it loves h4. It thinks h4 is basically winning. So I guess, I guess they played the right move. <laughs> Let's go see what they say in the, in the answers, though, just for, just for kicks here. 151, H4, exclamation point. All right, so even, it, you know, this is not a normal tactical puzzle, basically, because it's like, um, you're not winning material, exactly. If bishop takes H4, queen H3, and after bishop takes E3, Oh, I didn't even see knight f6. How necessary is that? I just want to see, like, whether... Oh, yeah, it says knight f6 is really strong. Knight e3 is still nicer white, but this just wins. Uh, because of king h8, g5. Oh, okay. Hmm. If king g7, knight h5. Or I missed that, that move. Yeah, because after this... White is definitely better, but knight f6 wins outright. Just completely wins the game. Um, let me just refresh that. So, like, take knight f6, king h8, g5. If bishop g4, I mean, I guess the attack is... Monumentally strong. Uh, we're attacking the rook, we're attacking the knight. Maybe this move is pretty good. I don't know if I played the right move though. Maybe not. A oh, queen e4 is checkmate, duh. <laughs> Alright, h7 is, is coming. He has to go queen f6 or some crap. So, yeah, I mean, I got it half right. I mean, h4 was the right start. But I, I just actually I missed this wrinkle. I mean, h4 is a good move anyway. 
but it's not like we're totally winning here. Um, after after f5, Houdini seems to think that the black has some compensation after like castle queen side. Um, bishop takes a2. So yeah, knight f6 is by far the best move. So I guess I got it wrong. Oh well. Got the first move right, but then yeah, I just totally missed the, the knight of six move. Hopefully in a game I okay, in a game I'd almost certainly find it if it's on the board because I'm good at stuff like that. Oh well. Anyway, thanks guys. See y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.